What's up guys, Jerry Fitness here. And I'm basically, today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about, you know, specifically the younger guys, how to build muscle and how to, um, how to build that first bit of mass, especially, you know, when you're first starting off. When I was younger, um, I came to high school, only weighing 105 pounds. <clears throat> and you know, I was too small to play football and stuff like that, so I didn't make the team. And basically the coach had told me, you know, come back next year, you know, 20 pounds heavier. So with that, you know, I tried pretty much everything. I did everything that you guys are doing now. I walked up to, you know, the big guys in the gym and say, how do you get big? How do you do this? And they'd all give me, you know, their different input. Like you gotta eat big to get big or eat a lot of potatoes or you gotta eat carbs, not protein. You gotta eat protein, not carbs or whatever they would tell me. The mainstream thing is to wanna lose weight to get that six pack of abs, whatever it is. And you know, it's often hard for people who are looking for the easy guy, the 30 day guy to gaining this much mass. Well, the truth is, you know, the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is gaining mass requires patience. It, it's not gonna happen, you know, overnight. It's not gonna be, you know, one day you lift hard in the gym and then the next, you know, the very next week you're, you're noticeably be bigger. And starting young is the best thing to do. I'm only 18 years old. And um, in this time that I've been, you know, serious about fitness, I've won a, a one powerlifting competition when I was uh, 15 years old. When I was 17 years old, I won my first men's physique show in the open category, in the open men category. I came second place in another show in the team division, and I uh, took third place in another show at, in the open man category. You know, me starting off young allowed me to get that muscle maturity. You know, that's just my personal story. Also, I started weightlifting when I was 12. Now, I'm not saying I recommend that for everybody. I definitely do not recommend, you know, starting off when you're that young. But, you know, if it's okay with your doctor, if it's okay with your parents, and you have someone who is very, you know, experienced in weightlifting that can show you the right way to do it, then, you know, however young that they all agree that you should start, is my personal opinion when you should start. I started when I was 12, but, you know, I've worked with amazing conditioning coaches since I've been uh, in high school, middle school. Um, you know, not to mention I did countless research on my own time to really see how to do it. Being young, probably the hardest thing is not even weightlifting. It's not it's not working out. It's not doing push-ups or whatever you do to get big. It's actually more about diet. And the reason why I say that is because the common reason why you're probably looking this up is you don't eat enough now. You're not looking to lose weight. You're looking to gain weight. You have to eat a certain amount of calories to actually gain weight. I thought, you know, as long as I'm working hard and I'm lifting hard, it doesn't matter how much I eat. Well, that's not true. You need to eat a lot. You need to focus on eating a balanced, you know, a balanced diet. You need to eat your carbs. You need to eat your protein. You need to eat healthy fats. You need to drink lots of water. Well, you guys' the age is 13 to 15, 16, 17. To eat, focus on eating at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You know, your goal weight. So say I'm 100... I'm about 160 pounds right now. So, you know, for you guys, I'd recommend if you weigh the same amount as me is to eat 160 grams of protein. Your healthy sources of protein are chicken, beef, um, turkey. Uh, peanut butter is actually good because you guys are focused on gaining weight. You know, not so much, not so much for the losing weight side, but peanuts, nuts, peanut butter, fish. That's the type of protein that you want to aim for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention eggs too. Eggs are great. You do want to eat a, a good amount of carbs too, because your carbs is pretty much, I wouldn't say that's where you're getting your weight from, but it's pretty much, that's the, the actual stuff that's put on the weight. The protein's going to build and repair the muscle, but for you to, you know, your body, your body burns the carbs as energy so it doesn't burn the protein. Potatoes, you want to eat like whole wheat bread, you know, regular bread's good too. Rice, um, another thing too, you guys don't really have to focus on eating super, 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 I wouldn't say healthy, but super, super strict. Like, I see a lot of kids that are trying to gain weight. They're eating nothing but brown rice and sweet potatoes and whole grain bread. I mean, although that is very good and that's very healthy. You guys, I mean, most of the time you guys are ectomorphs, which is basically what I am. I have a hard time putting on mass, but I, I can I can shed fat like, easily. I, I never reach a certain high level of body fat. Even in my bulking, you know, I can bulk and, you know, I could get bigger if I wanted to, you know, fat wise, but I kind of just focus on that lean bulk. But the truth is, you guys do not have to eat super, super strict. You're young, you're, um, you're, you need to grow, you need the calories, you need them where you're gonna get them. So <clears throat> I'm not, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people might get on me for saying this too. I eat a lot of fast food. 
um, when I'm bulking because that's another way that helps me get my calories. I'm not saying that that works for everybody and I'm not recommending that either. But I'm just saying like being young and being an ectomorph, you have to see what your body responds well to. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, sometimes when I'm bulking, I'll eat two cheeseburgers before I work out. You know, a lot of people are probably like, oh my God, that's so unhealthy. You're going to be so sick when you get older. I'm not recommending that. I'm just saying that's what I personally had to do to reach my level of success. Water. You need to drink a lot of water when you're bulking. And even when you're cutting too. Water is so important in your body because your muscles are mostly water. The thing that I'd recommend is drinking up to a gallon of water when you're bulking because <clears throat> you don't want to drink so much water that you're constantly full and you feel full on water because that's not going to help you gain any, get any bigger either. A lot of thing, another thing I thought was, you know, just because my, my weight was going up every single day, I was actually gaining that lean mass. But the truth is my water weight was going up. And the thing is, you don't want to mistake water weight for mass because at the end of the day or at the end of the week, you're going to pee all that water out and then you're going to be the same weight you were when you started. And that happened to me a lot too. Maybe for breakfast, you want to have eggs and oatmeal, maybe for lunch, chicken and um, rice, chicken and rice or pasta, dinner, maybe maybe a lean cheeseburger or something like that. You know, that kind of, that kind of thing, steak, stuff like that. But, you know, also being young, too, I do realize you guys don't really have much say in what you can eat and what you can't eat. So if you just truly do not have the ability to say, mom, dad, I need, you know, I need this or that another thing. You just need to eat what they do provide you with and you need to eat a lot of it. I mean, eating a lot is, is probably the most important thing. All right. Now on to working out and stuff like that. Being young, <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy, like I said earlier on, whether you should or not lift weights when you're young and like i said if you have if you have someone experienced that can carefully guide you teach you your parents are okay with it you know your doctor's okay with it whatever then i recommend lifting as early as they say you should but if you don't you know there is definitely uh solutions against that i really focus on body weight exercise so i did a lot of push-ups i did i started off when i was about 12 i did 50 push-ups a night every single night uh, after I was doing those 50 push-ups, bench press felt natural to me once I started doing bench press seriously. You want to switch up your variations with bench press too. You don't want to just do regular bench press, but you also want to do diamond and wide. You want to uh, get, get all those different variations so you're working those different muscle groups. Your diamonds are obviously working your triceps and your wide are working you know, more of the width of your chest while regular ones are working more the depth of your of your chest. Um, Ups is obviously good. Um, and another thing too, when it comes to abs and stuff like that, if you're a true active morph, you, you shouldn't lose your abs unless you're just eating so much, which isn't necessarily a bad thing either because your abs never go away permanently. Your abs are always there. It's just that, you know, when you, when you increase your body fat, your abs become less visible and when you decrease your body fat, your abs become more visible. But sit-ups are obviously good for building that, that lean, ab structure and um it's definitely good for setting a good foundation and building up your core and stuff like that when you get on to more advanced lifting um so that's your abs your chest uh triceps you know with your chest um pull-ups i cannot say pull-ups enough i did not do a lot of pull-ups when i was younger and i wish i had because i now am i realizing that pull-ups are probably the best body weight exercise that you can truly do i mean Pull-ups is almost the same thing. It's actually lifting with weight because you're using, you're pulling up your whole body weight and your body weight fluctuates. So as you get heavier, it's, it's increasing the difficulty. Pull-ups is the best thing. I mean, I can't preach it enough. Obviously, you know, <clears throat> when you first start off, you're not going to be able to do a lot of push-ups. You might not even be able to do one. What I recommend for that is um, if you do have access to a gym or something, there's usually assisted pull-ups. I recommend doing those, but if you don't, if you have a good workout buddy or someone who can help you out, you know, maybe they can hold your feet like this, you know, they put their feet, you put your feet in their arms and they'll hold you up. And you know, basically that's not, that's not making it so it's not a workout for you, but it does make it easier so you'll be able to do it. You just gotta work your pull-ups and your pull-ups are really, really good for you. I did not, you know, talk about what they really build and the different variations of that. Pull-ups, if you do them in wide grip, it works more of the width of your back, your lats, which are right here. Those muscles, when you when you lift your arms above your head or from the back, you can see them, they're your lats. And your lats are basically what creates that B taper. It's what makes you look really, really wide when you when you walk around. And that's the number one thing I think that helps people look bigger. Um, they also work your biceps if you do them with an inside grip like that or um, like basically like that. That helps build your biceps. And your biceps are obviously your arms. Your arms are pretty important in a physique. Um, 
Now down to legs. Legs are very, very important in a physique too because you don't wanna build up your upper body so much that your legs are left hanging. You don't wanna be that guy who skips leg day. Um, when it comes to legs and body weight exercise, uh, there are a lot of body weight exercises for legs. Um, there are squat jumps. Basically, you get in a squatting motion like you're squatting and then you jump up as high as you can. And uh, that is actually good. Um, I, I did do that a lot when I was younger and that did help me build leg mass. It helped me get faster and it helped me get more explosive in my, in my takeoff when I did play football and stuff. Another thing is sprinting. Sprinting is great because sprinting is cardio too. And a lot of people are gonna tell you, oh yeah, don't do cardio, don't do cardio, don't listen to those guys. You still wanna do a decent amount of cardio. So on your leg days, you can, you can do sprints, you can do squat jumps, um, you can do lunges, you can do weighted lunges. I mean, if although you don't really have weights, you can put on a backpack with all your textbooks from school and do some lunges in that. Same thing with push-ups and pull-ups too, if the push-ups and pull-ups. Uh, there are other body weight exercises and I do encourage you guys to look them up. And, um, and to see what really works for you, because that's big, the quickest way to get big is lift weights and eat big. That's just the truth. When it comes to lifting weights, you have to focus on those compound muscles. You don't want to isolate the biceps to just grow your arms. You don't want to isolate you know, specific body parts. You want to work on compound movements. And when I say that, I mean compound movements as in bench press. Bench press is probably the most important, uh, probably one of the most important lifts you know, building a strong foundation. Squatting is very important because your squats develop having those strong legs. It works, it actually helps strengthen your core too and it can help strengthen your back. Incline bench press, all, all the variations of bench press are good. So you have your regular, which is flat. You have your incline where you're laying back and then you have um, decline. I did a lot of deadlifts when I was younger. It helped strengthen my lower back, my hamstrings and stuff like that. I did power cleans because I was interested in uh, Olympic lifting a little bit when I was younger, and that also helped me with my explosion in football. Uh, power cleans, I do recommend that, but at the same time, do not try them alone. You have to have somebody that, for the most part, knows how to do them. If you don't, start off with just the lightest weight possible. I'm talking the bar or less than that, and, and walk yourself slowly through those steps. Look up a good tutorial video on YouTube and read about how to do it. Bent over rows, I love doing rows and stuff like that, you know, for my back. It's, and um, shrugs are good for building shoulders when you grab the bar and you just shrug. You shrug, and another important thing about shrugging is holding for two seconds at the top. You don't wanna just go like you're rowing. You wanna go up, hold it for a second, and then go back down. Um, and then obviously there are way more lifts and stuff like that. You do wanna focus on, um, also I forgot for bench press too, there's close grip bench press which helps build your triceps. Which that's pretty much it guys. Uh, like I said, to recap, you wanna eat a lot, you wanna eat a lot of um, clean carbs, you wanna eat a lot of lean protein, you want to work out, and um, you wanna drink a lot of water. You wanna lift lift weight if you can, if you can't, really focus on those body weight exercises, and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys can ask me any questions down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Um, I'm also planning on dropping a whole blog on this that I will post and give you guys a link at a later date. You guys can stay tuned to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook page, whatever. I'm going to uh, continue to post and keep you guys updated on that information. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I want you guys to get in the gym, get big, and uh, do what you got to do. Thank you.